G'day guys and welcome to another one of my Digimon Rearise videos. Today we are doing a very special full showcase for Rasenmon anniversary version, the Deft Rasenmon. This guy is absolutely nuts. He's currently out on the second year anniversary banners, or one of them anyway. Um, this is what he looks like here. He's pretty cool. His skills look pretty cool as well. But the reason why he should be summoning for this guy is he is so busted. Um, first, let's look at his stats. This is sorted by HP, only purple Digimon here. He's got so much HP, 10,293, which is just a little bit lower, or 2,000 lower than Belfimon. But as we'll see when we look at his skills later, he actually has, I think, the highest HP in the entire game. So he's really good in the HP stat. If we change to tech, because he is a tech type Digimon, Hadamon has more tech than him, that's interesting. Oh, that's because of, that's because it's entered wrong. 39,000, 3,900. He has the most tech, 5,136 tech. Obviously, power Digimon are down the bottom here because Deft is sorted by power and tech. Ignore that Patamon, he's in the wrong spot there. Um, defense, again, a little bit weaker than Belfimon, but um, as you'll find out later when we look at his uh, skills, that's not a big issue. 3,100 is still very, very respectable. Um, a little bit less, 1,000 less than Belfimon. And finally, let's look at his speed. It is just a standard speed, 22 speed. So he's the same as all of these guys. Oh, where is he? All the way down there, but I think these are all 22ers. Oh, he's a 25er. So not the fastest boy, but he is deaf. So all your special plugins that you get um, in that last slot will have speed if they're rainbow. So Deaf Digimon are always pretty fast. Now, let's look at his skills because they are ridiculous. Main skill, 310% damage to random enemies four times. So multi-hit skill, but here's the kicker. Three enemies at a time. It's an AOE multi-hit skill. Ignores block, triple crit damage. What were they thinking? AOE multi-hit, so damage limiters, don't worry about it because you'll get them off you. Evasion, don't worry about it, it'll get it off you. Tanky Digimon, don't worry about it, get to, it'll, it'll kill you because he ignores blocks, triple crit, and he hits three enemies four times. That's 12 hits. Oh. Let's keep going. Sub skills, uh, 240 to two random enemies, two times, four enemies at a time. So this is another multi-hit AOE attack. Ridiculous. This also has stun, which can be, which has a chance to proc on each of the hits. So it has two chances at 40% to apply stun. It gets crazier though, so that's pretty much all his offense there. Triple crit, uh, triple crit multiplier, AOE multi-hit skill. Here's where his defense comes in. Let's self-reduce damage 75% while blocking forever. That's that's okay. 80% block rate forever. So 80% of the time you're getting 75% damage reduction. I'm not sure how that interacts with Digimon that ignore block, but still that's really, really crazy. And 50% plus to own HP. That's why I said his HP was going to be really high. So he's got 10,000 health plus 50%. 15,000 health, 75% damage reduction when you're blocking. Plus whatever your plugins are. 80% plus block plugins if you're running block plugins. I think his um, target plugins are counter. But still, 80% block with damage reduction is pretty freaking good, man. A lot of Digimon in their passive have... Um, block boosting as well. So you'll be able to get that at 100% at no sweat at all. He'll be taking no damage. He'll be just absolutely wreaking havoc with his main skill and his sub skill. You, This guy has one shot potential for whole teams. Click his main skill, sit back and watch the enemy team just get deleted. Doesn't matter what they're running, they're gonna die. This guy is ridiculous. 
Enough of me talking. Let's get into um, the showcase now. So as always, we're going to test him out in the Underworld Dungeon. We'll test him out in Clash Battle. And finally, we're going to take him into PvP and see if we can get him to absolutely destroy. Okay, we're going to start off in the Underworld Dungeon. I'm running him on a classic Underworld Dungeon team. Two healers. Crit damage support and some defense support there, as well as status protection. I'm using him as my main damage dealer. He's really good in the Underworld Dungeon. Oh, spoiler, he's really good at every, every single mode in the game. But he's really good in the Underworld Dungeon because of his defensive utility and his ability to clear waves fast. He gets 80% block with 75% damage reduction on a block plus whatever you have in plugins, and 50% to his HP. Plus he can clear waves this fast. Yup. He's crazy good. Oh, come on, hit my Resemon. I wanna show off how, how tanky he is here. Let's heal, let's just uh, do a heal up here so you can see how tanky he is. It'll be interesting to see how, um, you know, skills that ignore block, how that interacts with his passive. Here's his friendship skill. Pretty wicked. That's also a multi-hit skill, which is crazy. Um, as I was saying, it'll be interesting to see how Digimon that ignore block, like um, pretty much every recent damage deal of this release, how that interacts with his damage reduction on his passive, but... Um, we'll just need to do some testing to see how that works. As you can see, really, really crazy good in the Underworld Dungeon as your damage dealer. He has no status protection, so make sure you run that in your team. And we're going to jump over into a Clash Battle now, where you can see him putting out some huge numbers. And we're over in Clash Battle now. This is a level 10 Rasenmon Clash Battle that we're going to take um, him into. I am running him with Wisemon as a tech buffer, Skull Saitamon as a offensive support, and a few other blue Digimon, um, tech Digimon, just to help uh, balance out that damage. He's really good in Clash, guys. Even though it's single target Digimon, he still hits so hard with that crit multiplier and with his um, multi-hit skill. So what I'll do is I'm going to buff up first. Do this, 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 and that should be it. That should be 3 million damage. I'm not even kidding. If not, it'll be close to. He just hit a million damage on his own with one skill. Ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And that's it. That's the whole clash. Do you want to be clearing clashes in about a minute that's how you do it that was a level 10 clash done so fast there's no spiral raids out at the moment if there was i'd show you on a spiral raid and see how much damage you can do but with this team i reckon you could pump out over 5 million easy 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 he is an absolute beast in clash battle if you run him on the right team with tech support, he's absolutely crazy. All right, let's jump over into PvP and let the craziness continue because, spoiler alert, he's really good there as well. All right, and we're over in PvP now, ready for some more absolute disgustingness. I'm running my Rasenmon second anniversary on this team here. So I'm running him with Skull Satamon who um, debuffs the enemy's tech and defense, tech damage resistance and defense. Um, the other Digimon are there basically as speed slaves and to do a little bit of cleaning up. I just want to basically, my strategy is win the speed tie and just win. That's it. The speed battle and win. That's it. It's, watch this. It's just, it's just bananas. One, two, that should clear up the whole match. Win the speed battle. Done. Oh, he's got a Zwart to re revive. 
His sub skill has stun on it too, and it's a multi hit. It's disgusting because each hit has a chance of applying that stun as well. So the meta was going really stally for a while when Heavy Leomon and Shine Greymon burst mode and a few other Digimon released. That is not the case anymore. Look at this, a defensive team. The only one that lives is uh, the Crimson mode who has that evasion. But I've got my own Crimson mode to clean up there. Look at this. Matches have gone from taking four or five minutes to taking less than a minute now. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. I don't know what they were thinking. This guy would have been fine if they just gave him single target multi-skill. He still would have been a beast. But look at that. It's so gross. There's nothing you can do about it. If a heavy Leomon taunts, his um, skill actually hits 12 times on him. Because each of the multi-hit that's meant to hit another enemy hits the heavy Leomon. So you can even one-shot heavy Leomon's some of the time, which is crazy. How to counter this guy? I guess crit protection, death mark, um, and just outspeeding and killing him first. He does have that block passive though, which makes him super, super tanky too. Like, he's so crazy. All right, this should be a, a full one shot. Oh, very close. Damage limiters also can protect you from getting one shot, but they don't protect you for long because you can burn up so much of your damage limiters in one shot. Can you see how gross this is? I don't know if this is going to ruin the game. Honestly, this is... He is disgusting. He's like, if you play Dokkan, he's like Strength Gogeta when he first released. He is disgusting. He's more powerful than... Omega when he first released on this game. He's more powerful than Paladin mode. This guy is I Don't know what they're going to do next to try and balance this but he just makes so many Digimon obsolete Whoops, let's see this One shot Whole team what the fuck Guys if you haven't summoned for this guy Stop whatever you're doing and summon for him. I d there's no alternative. He is so powerful. I don't even have his full plug-in kit yet. He still has another crit and... Um, what's his defense one? Block rate plug-in. Plus he gets, what, 80% block on his passive? Is it 80%? 80% block and he reduces damage. Oh, guys. Defensive, offensive. Just stupid. Like... You'll save yourself hours in PvP because each match only takes about four seconds with this guy. If you have Chaos Mon, pair him up. Just watch the enemy team get deleted. Disgusting. Disgusting, disgusting, disgusting. I don't know what they were thinking. Could have made him single target multi-skill. He would have been fine. The AoE multi-skill is... It's just mind-blowingly powerful. It's, it's overpowered. It's so overpowered. Hey, thanks for watching this video, guys. If you've enjoyed, make sure you leave a like. Comment down below. Make sure you join that Discord channel. Let me know if you're summoning for this guy. I think you should be. After this showcase, if this hasn't changed your mind to summon for him, I don't know what will because he is ridiculous. I do have him at one, level 105. I'm going to go more because he's so good thanks for watching everyone i'll see you in the next digimon re-rise video thanks guys bye